Hello, I am Richard Worley, a senior lecturer in composition and a composer of instrumental and vocal music. My music over recent years has become increasingly concerned with environmental matters and also increasingly inspired by the natural environment. Now partly this is out of concern for the future. I mean, some of what's going on in the world at the moment regarding the relationship between humans and the natural environment is just monstrous and it's impossible not to be disturbed. I don't always know how to respond to this as an artist, or even whether my response will make any difference, but it is something I think about a lot. And it also feels important, as what would be considered within academia as a practice-based researcher, to engage with finding new and fresh ways of looking at contemporary concerns. What is more important at the moment than our natural environment? And, as I said before, I also get a lot of inspiration and solace from the natural world. It's where I go to find space and think, although, of course, there's never enough time. But increasingly, I've found nature to be a source of inspiration in itself. It's just so complex and beautiful and unpredictable, all of which are qualities I want my music to have. For example, my saxophone quartet, Iapetus Sutra from 2016, that builds some of its proportions from the relative positioning of bodies of water in the Lake District and ends with a representation of shapes of distant mountains as seen from the top of Coniston Old Man. My string quartet, Mantle Plume, from 2019, that creates musical processes that are analogous to physical processes. In this case, I was incredibly inspired by the Icelandic landscape, the shifting of tectonic plates, upwelling of lava, freezing and cracking of ice. What could be more exciting than trying to recreate those within music? Now, climate change is happening physically, and it's pretty much established that it's caused by human activity. I wrote a second saxophone quartet, Refugees Welcome, in 2017, and that is more concerned with creating a kind of human landscape. In this case, empathising with the lives of refugees escaping the Middle East crisis in 2016 and crossing Europe in search of safety and security, imagining them walking, breathing and also remembering their homelands through evocation and dance rhythms um, inspired by musical cultures of the Middle East and also um, Africa. So my current project also relates to climate change and this is a chamber opera on the Greek myth of Erisikthon. So this is a collaboration with the poet John McAuliffe from the Centre of New Writing, who is writing the libretto, and with the Manchester Opera Project, directed by Emily Howard Copley. Now John has written a beautiful libretto for this project. It's really inspiring and it's a joy to bring out and build on the music within this libretto. Who was Erisikthon? He was a rich man who was happy enough to destroy the natural environment and kill anyone who got in his way so that he could become even richer and even more powerful. Does this remind you of any contemporary politicians? Unfortunately, he bit off a bit more than he can chew when he chopped down a sacred oak and upset the goddess Ceres. So it's a story about richness versus poverty, ingenuity versus brute force, destruction versus respect for the power of nature. Who knows what the future holds, but I'm pretty sure this won't be my last composition to engage with such topics.